Cuboid How-To Video Series. Palettes App Beta. You can easily install the Palettes app on your M2 device by using the updater and making sure you have version 1.5.0 of the updater, which will expose any available new beta apps for the M2. This is where you can select the latest Palette app version. Latest is on the top. You will need to update the Android firmware to version 1.52B03 beta. Once installed, you can swipe up to get into your application screen. Drag the Palettes app to your home screen for easy access. Here's a tour of the UI. Change format for tall items. Start preview or take picture. Save picture and dimensions. Undo previous or last saved picture. Then you can redo. Touch the Palettes app icon to open the application. Have a palette or large item in front of you with clear space around the object. Stand back from the target. A simple rule of thumb is as follows. Estimate roughly how many feet high the item is and then stand that many feet away. Point the M2 camera at your object. Start the image preview. Make sure the item fits in your preview window. Get some of the ground in front of the item in the preview too, just like you would when taking a picture of anything. If the entire item is highlighted in yellow, then you have a good scan candidate. Click the Capture Dimensions button to capture your first photo with the dimensions. Now walk to the left or right side of the palette, doesn't matter which one, and by the time you get there, the image preview will automatically start back up for you. Capture a picture from that second point of view. Press the Save button to save the current picture onto your M2. That will also sync the data to the Cuboid Cloud if you have an account set up and your M2 registered to your account. You have to take a picture from at least two sides of the object to complete a length, width, and height estimation. But you can choose to take pictures from all four sides if you wanted to. This would be recommended if your palette is not symmetrical and has a different shape on every side, which could effectively change the overall palette cube dimensions. Some pro tips for taking the photos. Getting closer is better than farther. The UI will flash red if you are too close or too far. If the item is too tall, you can try to change the orientation of the sensor by using the flip screen button. In this beta version of the Palettes app, you may occasionally encounter situations where the automatic boundary lines don't perfectly align with the edges of the object. In such cases, you can manually adjust the measurement estimate for greater accuracy. To do this, simply touch any of the measurement numbers displayed on the screen. This will bring up an adjustment screen. Drag the lines on the screen to precisely match the outermost edges of the object. You can repeat this process for each picture you capture. Remember, this manual adjustment is typically not necessary, but it provides a way to optimize accuracy in situations where the automatic boundary lines might not be perfectly aligned. The Palettes app is a valuable tool for businesses that need to accurately and efficiently determine freight class for palletized or oversized items. It allows users to quickly capture dimensional and image data, generate supporting documentation, and challenge reclassification claims by carriers. Key benefits. Easy integration. Seamlessly integrates with existing M2 environments using the same API as other apps. Cost-effective integration. No additional IT expenses required for integration. If you have any additional questions, please visit cuboy.ai to submit an inquiry.